fighter, Nicholas Rios. He's already got a world title under his belt. He rides for Commercial Bank, Dread, Jet Trim, Quakey Sense, the Sea Dew Center. He's on the number 90 out of Austria, Kevin Renner. This is Motor Number 2 Pro Ski Open. Everybody on their feet. They're riding stand ups. I want to see everybody in the grandstands on their feet. They got to do it. You got to do it too. Here we are, Moto 2 of 3. But they're going to come around once again. The Lee Manville inaugural whole shot awards another $50 going out to our winner here. We can see Jonathan Kilborn's helicopter gets some great shot. And on the outside, and it's not going to be, it's going to be the inside gets a split. It looks like it's going to be. One hundred, Steven Doliak with a whole shot and the lead. And you can see Nicholas Rios trying to find his way up. We're gonna get the second place there when they come by on the black ski. So Dahlia continues to lead here, but the folks, next time around, the log jumps will be open. That's going to be the great equalizer for a lot of these riders out here. We've already seen it turn into Sub City. Once again, I want to welcome everybody out the second half. The Moto 2s have started. This is the 31st annual IGSBA Hot Products World Finals presented by Koike Sense. Man, talk about a tower stack of talent. I saw we had Scott Hollywood Watkins up there. We had Larry Ripper Kroger up here. We got the slasher checking out the action. All the guys are out there. It looks like it's the 82. That is, I believe, Sousa. It is. Sousa on the inside. Daliak on the outside coming around. It's still going to be Daliak around the Hydro Turf buoys. Third place coming around trying to reel in Sousa now. The runner out of Portugal. So it is the number, and I believe that's Hideyuko Kiriyashi out of Japan. So, so far, it is France, or actually Dubai, Portugal, and Japan. One, two, three, and the log jumps are open, Havasu. Oh, I'm sorry, that is Mots, Dustin Matsuris. And there's a J1 just coming over the log jump there. We've got a couple of different number ones out there. So once again, it's Dawson Matsuris in that third spot. Tiago Sousa in second. And Steven Daliak, our leader. You know what? I got Tara Leo up. I'm going to have her help me out a little bit. She knows about these stand up skis. I Tara. I do. Hi. How's it going? It's going good. Thank you. We got Happy some good here. racing going on. We got the uh, motor number two of three out of the water. Stephen Daliak leading on the outside. Tiago Sousa on the inside. And Mazura is now on the outside. So 
the runner from Portugal trying to reel him in, but look at this. One, two, and three are equally separated out on the water. And is that Nicholas in fourth place? Th that is the fighter, Nicholas Rios, right out of Lake Havasu. Jimmy Wilson just takes a water sample, straight lines it there, as well as another rider goes out. Looter pulls the yellow flags out. So Jimmy Wilson trying to get back up and going. He's having some issues. But back to the action, Tara. You can see our leader now up on the top onto the back straightaway. Uh, about 65, 67 miles an hour on average down the back straight. Had a little rival rivalry this morning between Rias and McClurch, so... Shocking. We're, yeah, I mean, that is shocker, <laughs> shocker. Always racing. Practice, what's the difference? Always racing. Oh, as we can see our leader one more time onto the front straight away. That is Stephen Daliak riding for Dubai, United Arab Emirates. The Portugal rider, I'll tell you, Tiago Sousa is just tearing up. But I do believe Mazuris is starting to reel him in just a little bit. Yes, he is, and that would put him in a good position to take the overall today. Now, of course, Dustin Mazurius was second in moto number one, but Tara, we have a three moto system here. Right. So okay. it's really going to be important here for this moto two finish. So you can see our leader coming around through that slalom section. Oh, right. we got uh, Don Dawson back up. We got Tara Leo. Hey, how about this? We've got Steven Daliak out there in that top position. I saw that. Tiago Sousa in second. Dustin Matsurius in that third slot. All right, well, interestingly enough, because uh, Daliak had a fourth in the first moto, but when you count back to uh, sixth and seventh place, what you're going to notice is uh, Trent Brown back there, but you're also going to notice your number one finisher, which was uh, Kiriyashi this morning, who finished in the uh, first place spot, and he is going to... I know they got three. Yikes. Okay. Okay. Jonathan Kilborn getting those great helicopter shots up there. And you can see the log jump is open so far. Our top three been doing pretty good over it. All right, so we're at a tat tat. All three of the first top riders nah, clean on the log jump, which is good. Wasn't rat a tat tat, he just in freestyle? Pretty much. That's going to be <laughs> Nicholas Rias up in fourth. And then there is your leader from the first moto. Kiriashi is in fifth right now, so a five and a one. That's going to leave, uh, if you left it at this, that's going to leave Daliak at the top of the heat. But that's not how it's going to end because we have three motos today for pro ski. Tom, this is far from over. And you can see the courtesy markers have come out halfway there, halfway home. Well, that's a good question. Where is McCluggage? I know he had to be incredibly upset this morning after missing that uh, that buoy this morning, which knocked him down on the knocked him down on the standings. And actually, he's only halfway down there. So one, two, three. Hold on. Well, yeah, thirteen. Yeah, it's thirteen. That's a tough one to come back from. Not saying he yeah. can't do it. All right, so again, after all the uh, brouhaha this morning, it was uh, Kiriashi that ended out in the top of the heap on Moto 1 with Dustin Mazura second and Tiago Souza third and Steve Daliak, as we talked about, in fourth. And then um, Body, John Baptiste Body fifth and uh, Trent Brown in sixth. Yep. So those are the current contenders, although you can always get, as you know, the big mess-ups. So Daliak uh, leading right now. But you know what? I've been listening to the radio, and it sounded rather quiet. Quiet, Don, so I don't think there's any issues so far at this point. 
Well, that's good. As our leader, Tiago still tries to work his way around. Yeah, Tiago's been the most consistent between these two motos. If you think about it, he got a third in the first, first moto. He's currently running second. So that two and a three could, uh, if he continues that little charge, could definitely get him at the top of the heap. Two and a three, and then you've got uh, Steven Daliak with a four and a one. Both of those top two riders with a five uh, points overall. So the battle right now really between Tiago and Steven Daliak for the title. And again, who knows what's going to happen on the third moto because it's going to be all about consistency today. You are watching Pro Ski Open out on the water. So once again, as a drop into the front stretch, that's your race leader. He's also your pro uh, ski winner from last year, your world titleist, uh, Stephen Daliak. I'm sure you guys remember that moment. It was incredibly emotional for Stephen Daliak. Can't race for a couple years. Yes. Came back and uh, really showed the world that he still had it. Well, Don, with this being motor number two, it's a good slot to be in going into motor number three. It could be a repeat, but how many times we things, uh, like you said, get shaken up, a miss buoy, a miscalculation. You can't. You pull a lanyard, you go off a log jump. I mean, so many factors. Yeah, you cannot underestimate any of the riders out on this track right now. Any one of them purely capable, for the most part, of taking a world title. I mean, you've got a who's who's list of uh, racers out here. Uh, and what, uh, I had a spotter out here uh, helping me out. He was pointing out that uh, Trent Brown all over Kuriyashi this morning's uh, first place finisher. Again, it's going to be all about consistency, though. I see Dart a lot up in the hunt. Ronnie, Ronnie Manjaru top 10 as well. I'll go ahead and count them back on uh, this last, this next lap, excuse me. And we're running 10 laps again on the second moto, so it's going to be 10 laps. And then 10 laps for the final as well. All right, so 30 laps today to determine your pro. I, I think it just made my legs tired. Excuse me. My back started hurting. I'm starting to do the stretch. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's too funny. Uh, Zach Lugo, oh. if you're here, can we have you to the uh, announcer tower? Yes, sir. What'd you see? Well, I saw our leader just hit that log jump, get a little squirrely. So we're going to have to keep an eye on that over there. you got to wonder if these motos are starting to take a toll on them. It's rough. And you can see Rios has his hood off. Oh, that's a tough one. Usually they'll do that. they get an exhaust leak and... Uh, it just fills up. There's no oxygen, so they just toss the hood. Yeah, I see Brees Lopez out there as well. Uh, let me just do the rundown here for you. Brees, by the way, if you remember, almost had the whole shot this morning and then uh, went backwards a few, and then a couple of laps later was down on that outside split and had to get a toe back into the pits. And oh boy, here we go. Kuriyashi, your first moto winner is going under the gaff. Going to have to get a tow back into the boathouse. Wow. That is an upset. So once again, Hideyuki uh, Kuriyashi going to get a tow back into the boathouse. And that is a really tough break. That was a gentleman that ended up winning, if you guys remember, yeah. as we recap this morning. He was out of all oh, of that mess. Oh, the white flag is out. And the blue flag saying you're not in the race is out to a few riders. That's right. Okay, so again, Daliak is leading. Tiago Souza is second. Dustin Matsuris in third. And it was Rias, but with that boat hood getting tossed off, I'm thinking we've got the battle now for with Brees Lopez from the outside split for fourth. And look who's joining him. That's Kevin Redderer. So it's going to be Brees Lopez. I don't know what you're missing. They're all hollering about the log jump. 
So Priest Lopez on that number four machine, Kevin Redder on the number 90. As they enter the Hot Products Horseshoe, there's Trent Brown on the number 11, getting that white flag himself. And Dave Revender on that 152. And there's Rias. Tell you, man, that's just a heartbreaker. Always something. He was running up that fourth position. Just that half a suit curse that Rias finds every year. Yeah, Nicholas has had his fair share of ups and downs at the Worlds. He's a phenomenal athlete and a great racer, but uh, he's definitely uh, risking a super sub and a sinking with a no hood going over those log jumps. Of course, if anything could pull it off, anybody could, it'd be that guy. Yeah, gentlemen, put your hands together, ladies and gentlemen, for this guy. That is a huge, tough break for him. Yeah. And checkered flag and for Stephen Dahlia. Look at this. We got a battle for third, but it's going to be Dahlia. Yeah, Dahlia takes the, battle the for win. Second. Sousa's going to get it. Sousa held on to it right at the end. Matsura's going to hang on to the third. Little lap traffic in between. But a tough break for your Japanese rider. Uh, Hideyuki Kuriyashi, who won the first moto, getting the tow hook. All right, you guys. Fourth is uh, coinciding with his name and a number. It's Breeze Lopez for number four today.